moving targets, right? I hear buoyancy, I hear urgency. And it's not 70s, it's not, we don't know what it is. Well, let's do, our, let's do our introduction. Okay. okay. Uh, we're having uh, coffee yeah. and cigarettes. And we're listening uh, to And we're to listening to moving, moving targets. targets. It's, what's the date? Today is, it's like maybe the 13th of 19th. December. I think it's yeah. the 19th of December, 2022. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's been Just check with my girl, I don't know, Roadhog. she knows. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we're listening to moving we targets. Like, we love moving targets. And for them, i got to say, I mean, when that tape was first handed to me by Lou Giordano. Of course. Well, that's a pretty good And he said, hey, you doing the label anymore? I yeah. said, no, I'm going back to school. Yeah, yeah. And he goes, I want you to listen to this tape. And yeah. we hit, listen to this. Oh, please. A little and, Burma's in there. And, but but it's classic foot, rock. More and, fleet of foot than Burma. Less abrasive. More like buoyant, like flying thing. You know, like a flying. I'm so, hearing. Wait, I, flies, sometimes when I listen like, to it, it I hear. I hear, I hear like Peter Green. I hear wipers a teensy bit sometimes, just because they're at the same time. Uh, or, yeah, then I heard Greg, Greg Shapes. Um, I hear like Lemonheads trying to imitate them. I hear that a lot. <laughs> they were, when that, yeah, when that in, tape in came through, one. that was it. It was like, this guy's... We got Pat, we got like, Pat, you Pat, sure Pat Leonard, Pat Brady, Ken Chambers. The two Pats. What are you going to do? Right, rest in peace. Step aside, Pats, is what you man. do. Step aside. And Jay, the next drummer, yeah, he passed he, away. Just passed away. He's from Gloucester. And they're from Ipswich, right? They were from Ipswich, yeah. Ipswich band. So they were kind of out of place, but Gloucester and Ipswich. Man, they cemented the they're, label. They're very close. I'm they the cemented the label to get back together, you know, yeah. to get our, to the label going moving again. Targets are so Led important. to the Lemonheads. Oh, absolutely. Right? I mean, wouldn't have, yeah. Wouldn't have without moving targets. We, 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 there's no vocabulary for Lemonheads without moving targets. Right. right. There is no no tang vocabulary. Anymore. Right. That which is a separate dictionary. Right. I didn't want to sell them that. Yeah, no, yeah, okay. Put, we can let it out. It yeah. wasn't put out by Funk and Wagner. No, it's, we got a Braille version, though. <laughs> we were playing a Braille slang uh, a dictionary with really good pronunciation keys. So, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> mo like moving, like back to moving targets. Yeah. Uh, but they were, to me, like I said before, they were the. They, I felt like, guys, this is like. Being should be on blue. Secret. It's like a like, secret. It's like something really special thing between friends that like, they listen to and they. It's very emotional. Very well, emotional. It, it didn't fit the label at the time because it was like but hardcore that's why and kill slug. So cool, because you weren't worried about that so much. So I, a lot of people said, "Don't do this record," and I said, "Why?" I go, "This yeah. is like perfection." I go, when the it. drumming kicked in on the first yeah. song, you that was. About it. I go, "Who yeah. the fuck is this guy?" And I, this you know like what? A storm. I, and the night that I heard the tape, I think uh, Gang Green was playing. Yeah. And Walter was the drummer, and I Walter's said to him, and Walter was about to go yeah. on stage, yeah. Listen, yeah. and I said, Walter, I go, Walter, Walter Gustafson, Walter Gustafson who yeah, is the yeah, Keith Moon, of, with him. the Keith yeah. Moon of Boston. Yeah. Even though, sorry, Dennis McCarthy, but he was the Keith Moon of Boston. You gotta keep a couple of people in mind, right? And, and, and yeah, Pat, but Pat, um, Pat, Pat from Pat from Gangrene, what's his name? Uh, Mike Dean. Mike Dean. Mike Dean. Mike Dean. Mike Dean. Fucking insane. insane. Who played in Jerry's Kids? John, who's that? Beska. That's good. Oh, Brian, those guys. Perfection, man. That guy was so Brian solid. Busker. Still is. He's like I bet he still or... is solid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, back to the target. Yeah. So the the t tape. Uh, pa uh, pa uh, pa Pat Brady was the was the third like drummer that you had to just step aside. Oh yeah. So anyway, uh, so I went up to Walter that night, and he's Walter about to go on stage with Gang Green, and I said, Walter, I go, yeah, yeah. you've got some competition. Yeah. And I he looked at me like he looked at me like. He said, and well, he stopped from yeah, going yeah, up the real. steps. Walter's like, and he said, yeah, what do you mean? And he goes, I well, I go, we'll talk later. Yeah, exactly. And he's, that he's was, right now, he, yeah. yeah, so, I mean. You know, Walter is a monster, right? But that really he happened. is, man. He's the bottom. So, Walter's, the, Walter's the bottom. You know, um, this guy's more like. Yeah, the famous son. This uh, guy's more like Buddy Rich. Yeah, yeah. Gene Krupa was, style. Um, Walter Gustafson said the famous, um, a Viking makes me dope sick. They don't take Viking and it makes me dope sick. Because he was like, he's more hardcore than we were taking Viking. And we're like, dude, Viking just makes me dope sick. Like, you idiot, why are you taking Viking in? I thought that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And I was impressionable back then. Because, like, it's not strong enough, is it? You know? Anyway. Viking just makes me dope sick. <laughs> Walter Gustafson, what a man, though. What a good guy. Yeah, play with Gang Green. Play with our favorite love... band from Boston, did he not? The Outlets? Yeah. He played with all the good ones. He played with the Nervous Eaters. I seen him with the Nervous Eaters. He played right? a little. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I think he played with the Freeze. I'm not sure. Yeah, man. He did. He did? He played with all the... Everyone played the Josh Freeze of, of Boston. That, that's trivializing the whole thing. Who's that? Josh? He's the, he's the session guy who goes out with Debo, goes out with all the big oh. punk bands, you know? Oh. He's not Chuck Biscuits, which is some 
Or like a Chuck Biscuit. Biscuit's kind of, a, kind of, he swung Chuck more than me. He put a thing, what? bring me the head of Evan Dando on his drum. Because I don't know, I, I don't know, I said some shit, I don't know what. But I came out there, I was like, I would take it. And, I, and, and every day they were like, ah, they, were, they, were, they were like, they weren't ready to kill me on the spot. Because it was a festival. And they were like, bring me the head of Evan Dando. I was like, you got it. And I jumped on stage with social distortion. And they were like, whatever. <laughs> He's like, it's just kind of a joke. Here. I was like, you can have my fucking head, man. <laughs> it was funny though. Me and biscuits. What track is this? I, I, I like biscuits. Doesn't like, at least he doesn't stop me at all. You know. Yeah, it's one of these fucking crazy fusion like pieces. Can you call it a song? I guess you can. It's very playful, but it's also um, it's transcendent. It's too big. And boy, it flies away like a spaceship sometimes, and very emotional. I think that should end it. Just you saying very yeah, emotional yeah, yeah. should end the moving target yeah, segment. Yeah. We nailed that. Cut. Yeah.